Welcome to Third Red Action from Gosling Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is Friday afternoon. We have uh, nine races to look at. We, of course, we've got a big jackpot guarantee in the Rainbow Six. But every Friday, you know, it's Astronic Five Day. So let's take a look at the track and weather conditions. And then let's hear Pete Aiello call those nine races this afternoon. Racing at Gulfstream. Slow to start was a lotto at the back. Quick to start with Silver Dollar City and um, from between horses, Arula showing speed. Into the top light goes Worlds on High and Zamfir mixing it up. A mitt a way better today. He's four wide and he's on the go. Bastien LeBron won the start, but he has to settle behind a battling foursome up front. Then back to the inside and El Guapo. Outside of him in perspective and the two at the back, a lotto and marvelous Mike. They make their way to the far turn. They went 22 and three for the opening quarter. Silver Dollar City dueling with Worlds on High. Zamfir is three wide. Amit is four wide. Bastien LeBron is five wide. Two and a half to perspective. Then it's a length and a half to El Guapo. He's outside of Arula as they run to the top of the stretch. Now running up on the outside, Amit. Perspective's got horse, but he's got no place to go. Victor LeBron trying to find him some clear racetrack as Worlds on High, his barn buddy, turns first. Worlds on High leads by two and a half. Perspective loose and charging down the center. Amit is back to third. Bastien LeBron has been defeated. Worlds on High has the lead with just a 16th to go. Perspective is up into second. Safi Joseph won two with Worlds on High to win it by two in the end. Perspective second. Amit was third. Bastien LeBron fourth in one twelve. And one. Good start from between horses for Tantalizing Gal. Up on the outside, here's Awesome View moving out. Driving through at the rail, clipped heels and unseated the rider. A couple of them were badly hampered in that run. The two that were pretty much taken out of the race were Okalani and Face of Bluebird, as time-sensitive as in front. It's time-sensitive around the turn on top by a length and a half. Tantalizing Gal is second. Down at the rail, working ecliptical. Far outside, sister is double with VK Princess. In between horses, goals Gold Country. Three back to Tonala, racing together with Awesome View. And after inconvenienced runs around the first turn, the two at the back are Face of Bluebird and Okalani. And the charge to the half-mile point. It's time-sensitive. And Luis Reyes with the shades on. In front by a length and a half, tantalizing Gal is second. Working Ecliptical is third. Sister is Devil on the outside, fourth. Back to fifth goes VK Princess. Then trying to wind it up is Gold Country. The rest are badly strung out after that through a 47 and one opening half mile. It's time sensitive trying to bridge or bring them home here. Leads by two and a half. Tantalizing Gallows second. Sister is Devil on the outside, third. Working Ecliptical scrubbed on while fourth. Back to the inside in Gold Country. Less than a quarter of a mile to go. Time sensitive. Off the turn by a length and a half. Tantalizing Gal takes her shot. Second sister is Devil Gold Country and Work and Ecliptical are next. Final eighth of a mile, Tantalizing Gal on the outside of Time Sensitive. These two, Time Sensitive, digging in, Tantalizing Gal right alongside, Tantalizing Gal and Time Sensitive. These two, photo finish. Probably outside, but it's pretty close. Tantalizing Gal photos with Time Sensitive in a minute 38 flat.
No medication, no problem. Run happy, standing at Claiborne Farm. beginning soon after the start the outside duo went looking for an advantage red fog and saint joe viper acor is going to use some tactical speed to get into position dr dj and awesome party are right there and on the far outside that's the earthquake down at the inside is machiavelli and the trailer is quasar moon out of the chute onto the main track it's saint joe viper who has the lead and he leads three parts of length Acor is second and down toward the rail. Dr. DJ is right there as well. Awesome Party and Red Fog on the stand side. Then Machiavelli, two and a half clear of Earthquake, and the trailer is Quasar Moon. 24 and 1 for the opening quarter, 5 8 left to run. And on the class drop, Acor now moves through inside for Zayas to take the advantage from St. Joe Viper, who's back to second. Machiavelli is in the black colors, third at the inside, followed by Awesome Party and Dr. DJ. Red Fog's going to be five wide. Three back to the inside, and Earthquake, and Quasar Moon is last. The opening half mile was picked up. They went 46 and 4 to that half mile station, and there's three furlongs left to run. Acor has the lead by a length and a half. Machiavelli at a big numbers rallied into second from the back. Earthquake on the move now. Look for the earthquake. He's sweeping up at a big number on the far outside. Quarter of a mile left to go. Acor has the lead. Earthquake 21 to 1 and on the go now. Dr. DJ is next as the favorite fights to hold it. Three quarters, 111 and 3. They turn in, and with a big move, it's the earthquake who has. Has the lead, Dr. DJ down at the inside, runs right alongside. These two have put the favorite away. Dr. DJ comes away with the lead. Earthquake on the outside has a length to make up and just a 16th to do it. He's coming back. Earthquake at Dr. DJ, photo finish. Dr. DJ inside, Earthquake on the outside. Acor and no excuse third in 137-3. slower than the others. Jamalagister wins the break and tries to get a clear advantage. First and three moves up on his outside toward his inside. Papacho won't be far away, and Starship Aramis is put into play today. So it will be Starship Aramis to take the outright advantage over Jamalagister second and first and three third. Three back to Papacho fourth, then take down. Long gray line is next ahead of Dexter Road, who finds himself second last while in the clear, and the trailer is done acting. Pace is swift here, 23 and 3 to the opening quarter. Starship Aramis with the advantage of a length and a quarter. Jamalagister turning up the heat to keep him honest in second. These two have gone four or five ahead of first and three, who's clearly third. In between horses and long gray line, far outside Dexter Road. Losing ground is Papacho inside done acting, and the trailer is takedown. They make their way to the far turn. They went 46 and 1 for a sprint like half mile. Starship Aramis has the lead. Jamalagister second. Long gray line and Dexter Road begin to close ground their third and fourth. First and three is under a ride, not responding. He's back to fifth with five sixteenths to go. Long gray line and A Rod now going to challenge Starship Aramis from the outside and Dexter Road. A quarter of a mile remains. Three quarters in a 111 flat. They turn in. It's now long gray line who has the lead. Starship Aramis. Cuts the corner, finds a little bit more under pressure, tries to get back on terms. Dexter Road is now third. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Starship Aramis, dead game. He's fighting back inside of Long Gray Line. 16th to run. Starship Aramis now back on even terms. Long Gray Line tries to surge at him again. Here's the line. Photo finish. Really, really close in the end. Was it Starship Aramis inside or Long Gray Line outside? 137 and 3.
Mihet away quickly, aficionado with some early speed. Up on the outside, Extravagant Rosie looks to work over with Glorious Gal alongside. Omnia is at the rail and Titan slamming on the brakes as Marama second last, and the early trailer is Galileo's Ballerina. In the charge around the first turn, Aficionado holds inside ground, Mihet right alongside. Omnia runs into third, back to fourth in Glorious Gal, three wide Extravagant Rosie. Marama is down at the inside for Burgos, and the early trailer is Galileo's Ballerina. 23 and 3 for the opening quarter as they race into the backstretch. Mihet and Edgar Zayas now get clear to lead by a length. Aficionado is second, a gap of three to Omnia third. Glorious Gal races from fourth. Marama's in tight again, up on the outside Extravagant Rosie, and Galileo's Ballerinas at the back. Just over half a mile to run. Mihet has the lead by a length and a half. Aficionado angles to her flank to move up again second. On to third is Omnia, back to fourth, Glorious Gal. Fifth, Extravagant Rosie, then Marama and Galileo's Ballerina through a 46 and three half mile. 23 second speed in the second quarter for Mihet, who leads by a length and a half. Aficionado is second, Glorious Gal third, Omnia fourth. Extravagant Rosie hasn't picked up her feet, trying to run home from the back is Galileo's Ballerina as they run to the top of the stretch. Less than a quarter of a mile to go, they went three quarters in one ten and two. Here's Aficionado bidding up to take the lead from Mihet down the center, Glorious Gal, eighth of a mile to go. Aficionado, Clear now and on top by two. Glorious Gal is second, running home from the back. Galileo's Ballerina. She has a shot for third, but at eight to five, it's Aficionado in front. She wins by a length in the end. Glorious Gal was second. Galileo's Ballerina third. Omnia claimed fourth late from Mihet in 135 and four. was slow to go. Quick to go was speeding right alongside strong as Tekka. And these two hook up. Down at the inside, here's my beauty princess looking for some forward position. Mastering Bellows away in early fourth. Outside in Penn Street from between horses beyond Heavenly. Next at the rail, too legit to quit. Followed by Make a Scene. And after a slow getaway, Gladys is last of the nine as they have half a mile left to run. Strong as Tekka on the outside keeps the heat on. The race favorite speeding who's on the inside. Now third at the rail and my beauty princess outside and mastering Bella. Farther out goes Penn Street in between horses beyond Heavenly. Too legit to quit. Looks for racing room. Then at the back make a scene in Gladys as they have five sixteenths left to run. Christian Torres nursing the speed of speeding and she leads three parts of a length stretching out strong as Tekka. Penn Street on the outside. My beauty princess looks for a racetrack to try to upset the field with a 46 and one half mile in the books. They swing in. It's speeding now an eighth of a mile from home. On the outside, Penn Street starts to gain some ground. Second, back to third, My Beauty Princess. Up the fence and too legit to quit. Here comes Penn Street up on the outside of speeding. Speeding could not hold her off. Penn Street in front at 14 to 1. Speeding was second, too legit to quit. Finished third. My Beauty Princess was fourth in 112 and 2.
and they're off. Go, gone, gone, immediately to the top, and he leads by a length and a half over Get the Money, Bernie, and Sublime Appeal. Joyful Hearts on the far outside, tapping on the brakes is Shoshone Brave, and Soldali moved between horses, but now he has to tap on the brakes as they chase the speed of Go, gone, gone. Go, gone, gone to the far turn on top by a length and a half. Sublime Appeal second, Joyful Heart third. Get the money, Bernie, given the hurry up to try to hold his ground at the rail. Back to fifth and sold Dolly and Shoshone Brave is last. Opening quarter, just 22 and two. They run to the top of the stretch with Go, gone, gone, in front but under siege. Here's Sublime Appeal, three wide, Joyful Heart. Get the money, Bernie cuts the corner. Far outside, sold Dolly. Less than a quarter of a mile to come. And up top, Go, gone, gone, got a soft opening quarter and he's got something in the tank here. He now moves to a five-length lead. Sold Dolly down the center to try to get second, but that's all he can hope for. Go, gone, gone, indeed. Second is Sold Dolly. Third is Get the Money Bernie, then Sublime Appeal and Shoshone Brave in 56 flat. Wancho begins quickly and is set to get the advantage from between horses. Jamaican getting into mischief away in the top flight. Spa Jazz is fourth. Fifth at the rail in Karen's Co. Followed by Transitive out wide and Are You Talking to Me? And the favorite is last, Starship Apollo. He's about six lengths off the lead of Jamaican. Five-eighths left to run. Jamaican has the lead. The rider tugs on the reins to try to slow him down. Getting into mischief is second. Star Wancho is third. Spa Jazz fourth. Karen's Cove is next at the rail fifth, followed by Transitive. Are You Talking to Me is next. And still at the back is Starship Apollo. They run the opening quarter in just 22 and four. There's three furlongs left to run. Jamaican strong to this stage. He's now three furlongs from home and two on top. Getting into mischief is there. Second, Karen's Cove guided to the far outside by Torres. Starting to move in. Yellow colors up to third. At the rail and Star Wancho trying to wind it up from the back is Starship Apollo as they went 45 and three for the opening half mile. It's Jamaican turning for home on top. From the outside, here's Karen's Cove erratic down the center with Star Wancho. That floated Starship Apollo even wider as he continues to gain ground late. Final 16th of a mile. Jamaican trying to hold off Karen's Cove, who takes aim, and Starship Apollo finishing up down the center. They come home for the wire. Here's the finish. It's too close to call. It's maybe Jamaican in a photo with uh, Karen's Cove and Star, uh, Starship Apollo in 118 and 1.
Maria's Mirage wins the break. Ma Melanie's Pride moves up on her outside. Yaffa, the race favorite, looking for some forward position. Backspark is down at the inside. Out wide on the course goes Ali and Jazzy. Just behind her is Learnt. Learnt angled over from the eight post to race four lengths behind. The rain is coming is next. Then Miss Melania, VK star is three wide. Silver Sky Smooth is second last. And Alaya Queen is at the back. And the run around the first turn, the advantage belongs to Maria's Mirage. She leads narrowly. Melanie's pride on the outside second. Odds on choice, Yaffa between horses in third. Backspark at the rail fourth. Up on the outside goes Ali and Jazzy. A gap of four to Learnt. Racing ahead of the rain is coming. VK Star is three wide. Three back to Miss Melania. Then Silver Sky Smooth and Alaya Queen at the back. Half a mile from the finish. Maria's Mirage has been taking pressure the entire journey as Melanie's Pride is second. Allen going to get into the clear right now with Yaffa. She's on the attack, and she just took the lead. Backspark tries to get underway. Now she's into third. Ali and Jazzy's been wide on both turns, splitting horses and Lurnt, trying to run home from the back, or the rain is coming in VK Star after a 47-4 opening half mile. Less than three furlongs to come. Yaffa striding nicely. She leads by three. Backspark is second toward the rail. Melanie's Pride is still third. Looking for somebody running home from the back. Not really much of anything. The rain is coming. Swings wide for the drive as Yaffa has it all locked up. Inside the final furlong, it's just hands and heels riding for Ronnie Allen Jr. as Yaffa is long, long gone. Yaffa at one to two wins by as much as she wants. Might be closer to nine in the end. Second is Backspark, third is Lurnt, and then splitting horses, Miss Melania gets up fourth in 137 flat. And that wraps up Friday's action. We're back here Saturday with a 12 race card. Big fields, lots of turf racing. It's going to be a great afternoon. And don't forget, you can watch and wager at GulfstreamPark.com. Of course, First Bet, the app, and ExpressBet.com. So get your picks in. It's going to be a great day of racing. 12 races, a first race post, 12 p.m. Good night. Good luck. Stay safe. all day hit the hay what do you say hit the hay hit the hay well I'm tired let me tell you Jack I'm so tired